uh, this, which looks like a clone, but it actually is a clone, except it's a slightly different model because it's got a faster processor in it. And I didn't want to spend time transferring a hundred applications and reinstalling them, which is what I've got on this computer. So I've cloned the hard drive. I had great problems getting this to work. And I'll show you a bit more about this computer um, when I put this hard drive here into it to get it to spin up like this. So here I am backing up years of data onto this little device here, which I'll tell you a bit more about in a bit. That's how much time we've got left, approximately. So I'm going to leave this running overnight because, as you'll see, there is rather a lot of data to be copied. And I had to do half of this today because what I'm basically copying is a two terabyte drive. So now uh, the whole drive has been copied, or rather the whole partition, uh, which has taken five and a half hours. As I say, this was the second part. Um, I had two partitions which are about 900 gigabytes each. So it's taken about 11 hours to copy everything over from one drive to another one to this drive here, as I showed earlier. So I've now got the new hard drive here which I'm going to try and put in. I've got some brackets for which I'm going to try, but I don't know how I'm going to easily fit those. Um, so I might use a bracket out of the old computer. But uh, we're going to try and attach this now and see if it'll boot up, see what it does. So what I've had to do is, uh, when I got this replacement, I had to basically take it all apart. And I've got it here now with... It's actually another bit that goes on here and on here and on here but I've taken all of that off and uh, you can see the RAM chips there and this thing here is the power supply and uh, I've sort of detached the cover there's lots of screws which you have to undo as well but I've taken those off so what I had to do when I got this replacement was uh, I found that when it started up the there was a little battery and it's called the CMOS battery and that was flat so every time it started up, it uh, prompted you to enter some information. So under here, it's actually behind this thing, you've got to take this drive off. And then you've got to go right under here, actually, under these cables. Take all this out. So I had to take all this, this board out and lift it up. Take these fans off take that out, which is a CPU, just to change a battery. So this is a, a model from about 2010, when it was actually released onto the market, so it's now about eight years old. Um, but it's still pretty sophisticated, because it's all in one. You've got the screen around the front, which is laying on the carpet, and then these two things here, so that R is a speaker, left is a speaker, so it's built-in speakers, built-in power supply, RAM, USB ports are here, so that's why I like this unit, because it's got everything in it. It's got a webcam at the front, that's the webcam board there. So it's all all in one, very compact, good performance, so that's why I've stuck with this model, because it does everything that I want. And this, is, this particular model has got a slightly faster processor, it's got an i5 processor, so that's why I wanted to go with that. Um, but then I've had to replace the hard drive... And I'll put some more RAM in it because it's only got 6 gigabytes, and I'll, I've got 8 in my other one, but it's the same configuration. So this is what I've been doing. i spent a lot of time trying to f fix this up, and this is what I use for doing all of the check the evidence stuff and uh, all of my work.